let's say that they have your business has asked you to develop a report like this but am i going to develop this report okay am i going to develop this report immediately no first you should know the business of this report that is the first thing and second thing is you should know the business requirement of this and second th and third thing is you should check whether it is feasible or not technically it is feasible or not so you have to calculate all those activities okay then only we can able to take it forward so that is the reason before starting up any sort of a development activity okay we supposed to follow this kind of a process so that is what first is functional knowledge where we used to call it as domain knowledge or business knowledge whatever it is we can call it as domain knowledge or business knowledge so basically what it consists in this area right in this area most of the time it includes such activities like their functionality of the business okay functionality of the business guys i'm going to showcase you this kind of a documentations also okay so that is the reason and second thing is you have flow of data how the data is flowing in their organizations with some of uh, they will show you with some examples okay and then here functionality in the sense their current functionality okay and flow of data okay and all such kind of stuff but here who is going to deal with this activity because you are not the domain expert right so in this case a person with a different skill set called business analysts okay business analysts he is going to take care of this that is their responsibility to ensure okay to ensure about this providing a knowledge to the respective team members how they can share the knowledge through tsd or tdd nothing but tick sorry not tdd f functional specification document okay fsd or fdd functional design documents or functional specification documents so these documents they will let you know okay and it consists about the terminology of the business also so all such kind of information will be captured over here and they will let you know okay so this is the first stage that i can say yes definitely it is a first stage phase 1 we used to call it as phase 1 okay phase 1 so once this phase is done side by side what are we going to do isn't it is yes. project plan who will be taking care your project manager they won't sit idle right definitely once they pass out pass out this information they will take a project plan okay who will involve project manager and team lead in case if required team members also can in include so what does it consist this project plan this project plan consists firstly about the timelines isn't it about the timelines and number of resources how many number of resources supposed to are supposed is needed to develop our reports okay fine next is what allocation of work isn't it it consists yes allocation of work okay and what sort of dependencies you have you don't you think your project will have project plan will have dependencies dependent tasks right so dependencies okay and it includes your leave plans also in case if you are on leave who is the backup buffer resources okay i can say buffer resources backup resources whatever it is okay yeah dependencies okay and what sort of challenges you have okay timelines for what timelines to understand the brd document okay so 
for the development, for the unit testing, plenty of stuff guys, which includes all these activities, okay. So dependencies and challenges, everything you have it, okay. Now, once, I mean parallelly, side by side, they will prepare this, okay. Now, what is this? Business requirement analysis, fine. They have given a functional knowledge, fine. Next, what are you going to do? Are you going to sit idle? No guys, definitely not. We are going to do some kind of requirement analysis. Whether this requirement is feasible or not, I am going to analyze that first, right? Yes. And for that analysis, how much time you need, you have to capture it in your time project plan. Everything, everything, yes. Okay. Now, who will prepare this business requirement analysis? I mean, of course, they are supposed to give a documentation for you, right? They are supposed to give a requirement. Fine, agreed. But who will give this? Okay. That information will be provided by, again, business analyst. And this guy will take a help of your architect. Okay. Yes. He will take a help of your architect also. Definitely, guys. Okay. Now. Yes. Now look at this. Now, what is this BRD document consists? Guys, this is phase one I can say. And this is within phase two, you will be involved in these two activities. Okay. So don't forget that. So this is what we used to call it as phase one. Okay. Phase one. Within phase two, Right, we will be involving the BRD as well as the project plan. This is what phase two. Okay, so phase two and phase one. So within this phase two, BRD. So what is this BRD consists, isn't it? Yes, BRD consists all about your, first point is about your report requirements, guys. About your report requirements. Okay, and it consists about all your reporting elements, okay? Reporting elements in the sense, for example, look at this. Actual budget, these are all your reporting elements. So how we can achieve this, okay? So you have reporting elements and data source details. You have data source details also, okay? Yes, you have data source details and layout, nothing but Blueprint of the report. Yes. How you will come to know about the requirement? At least they have to give a sample layout, right? Yes. That consists about your BRD. So BRD consists your layout of the report. So they will give you at least some dummy layouts. So you have to prepare that accordingly. Okay. Yes. And it consists scope of the report. Okay. Scope of the report. Yes, and value added with the help of this report, what is the value added? So all this sort of activities will be captured at a, in this phase. But how they will share that information through BRD, Business Requirement Document. Okay, yes guys, trust me, Business Requirement Document. Okay. So BRD, so BRD consists all these details, okay. Now, what is the next phase then, isn't it? That is what, phase three, which includes technical specification. What is that guys, technical specification, so technical specs. So who will prepare this technical spec? Hmm? Yes, so this will be prepared by your senior team member, okay. This technical specification will be prepared by your senior team member. So, I can say your team lead. Yes, 
so he will prepare in case if he needed any questions so he will get in touch with your business analyst plus architect yeah he can get in touch with them absolutely okay absolutely it is possible okay now how this technical specification or technical documents can be distributed to the developers what called TSD technical specification document or we used to call it as technical design document either way it is fine either you can call it as technical specification or else you can also call it as technical design document we used to call it as TDD technical design documents either way it is fine okay yeah so what this TSD will consist I mean technical specification document consists what all the technical details okay yep all the technical details guys okay all the technical details which includes like what sort of joins okay and some required login details okay to interact with few servers okay right what else I can say SQL okay and your formulas okay which includes your business logic okay which includes the business logic okay so you have such kind of all the technical informations okay yeah and guys so this is what okay this is what our second phase right which is very important guys this is very very important okay so don't neglect this this is the life cycle that you have to understand okay yeah so what is the next phase then then development execution okay so how the development execution is going to happen so by referring all these layers okay now a concerned developer right a concerned developer has to go through all this respective documentation yes he should aware what is the project plan what is the deadline of my project he should know that am I right so he should know that so now all the developers so it doesn't mean that you know only one developer is going to involve in top of uh, I mean on top of only one rep I mean on various reports no so you might have different different uh, reports and each and every developer because each and every developer has got allocated respective work at a project plan level so you have to refer, refer your project plan during the development phase by referring your technical specification document BRD as well as the functionality document now what the developers has to do first they have to stick on to the timelines okay and in case uh, if they identified any kind of a challenge they have to incorporate at a right time at a project plan level and this project plan has to be distributed to the respective targeted audiences okay so then only we can achieve this on a right way now so now let's say before starting up a development or in the process of development activity what mr. developer has to do okay yes first thing is getting system yes system and admin rights on that system you should have admin rights on that particular system because you are going to do the installation that is the reason yes of which operating system I mean to say is that a 64 bit or is that a 32 bit okay you have to you will come to know that once you see the real-time environment which means I mean to say once you see the your landscape of your project because few projects they might use 64 bit and few projects they might use 30, 32 bit so it depends so most of the times they will use this 64 bit operating system that is one thing so you should know that 
and you should get dump of the software. So who will provide this dump of the software? Your W administrator will provide all these details. Okay, which means the location of the software. Okay, they will share. Okay, or else you can download it either ways. Okay, next, does it require a license key? If yes, you need to provide those details. Okay, right, guys. So that is one. So before starting up the development activity, he is supposed to focus on what? He is supposed to focus on installation. Side by side, he has to focus this. Okay, and this installation time also you can capture it in your you know uh, I can say like a, you can capture it in your um, project plan. Yes, installation might take half an hour. Yes, that also have, has to be captured. Nothing wrong in it. Okay, fine. Guys, are we good so far? Because I'm going to show you the installation also. Because as a developer, now look at this. As a developer, what kind of installation you are going to do? As a developer, I am going to do what? I'm going to do a W desktop. Yes. I'm going to download. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say I'm going to download the. I'm going to install W desktop component. Yes, because this W desktop is exclusively for what? Exclusively for modeling and reporting. That is the reason. So W desktop is exclusively for modeling and reporting since you are a developer okay since you are a developer you are going to involve okay you are going to involve in this activity so that is the reason i am going to show you the w desktop installations in our tomorrow's class 